But I think, right, what is what is interesting about that point also is that they've made it so available, right? Like, you know, you go and eat in a fast food restaurant. Right. We can talk and, about that as, yeah. as a conspiracy theory, oh, no, no, you know, but, that. but that's yeah. already happened. And it, yeah. it's just the beginning. It's not even I'm scratching the surface, you know, mm-hmm. I just took something, an mm-hmm. example mm-hmm. that is just there, Correct, which everyone knows. Everyone knows. Yeah. And just take the example and use. And after that, you can go to another example. And yeah. as a processed food, any food that ever been frozen and unfrozen and all this the processed food doesn't have fiber. Yeah. Okay, we need the fiber, without fiber we cannot get the proper mm-hmm. function. We, we can't feed the bacteria as the gut, you know. Mm-hmm. And then it's one of the things that uh, I was talking about, mm-hmm. you know, I was referring to that, mentioning that particular topic mm-hmm. when people talk about probiotics, ah, you know, so yes. it, it's why are you taking it? Because you have a problem. Because right? the doesn't have why it. Your, why your problem? Why yeah. you have your problem? Because of your action. Correct, correct. Right? Because of your choice. So you have to supplement it back. So yeah. you try to uh, sort of uh, yeah. alleviate the yeah. damage that you have already done by taking another substance and you hope that it will normalize, it will normalize. And you are people who are doing that. They even do it totally off the protocols, off, mm. off the how it should be done. Mm. Well, I understand if you have the dysbacteriosis, you know, after whatever mm. prolonged hospital stay, mm-hmm. antibacterial therapy, mm-hmm. dysbacteriosis, you know, I understand that there are reasons for that, mm. or malnutrition, or mm. whatever. Mm-hmm. But when that's due to the wrong choices, then you have done and, and you can't say that you're not informed mm. right because it's everywhere it's basically if you ride on a highway or somewhere in a subway mm. on the LRT or just read the news sometimes mm. or just if you watch your favorite program on mm. the or channel on the YouTube mm. almost certainly some kind of a spam or the pop-up uh, advertisement or something will come and it will start with the words eating processed food is bad eat food with fiber you need fiber somehow it will come in some advertisement or something so okay. you cannot say that you were not informed well mine that pops up right. every time you to buy stuff you know so maybe it's the algorithm really or yeah. maybe the algorithms you know because that stuff never comes to here. Yeah, Mike is always buy this, buy that, you know, this promo and then this is good for skin, that is good for, you know. I'm like, <laughs> it's terrible. It, it pops up on my YouTube, it pops up on my Facebook feed, you know, but because, and, and I don't know how scary this is. Like, I could be just talking to you mm-hmm. about, let's say, an item, right? Oh, yeah. And my right. phone's nearby. Yeah, it's always working. Literally, literally in an hour, it starts to pop up on my news feed. Yeah. And I didn't even search it on my search engine, you know, and it's scary. I had that with the phone cover. I had once oh. a new phone, yeah. and I was uh, going to buy the case in for that. Uh-huh. And I was with that new mm-hmm. phone, and I was going from one shop to another. Mm-hmm. You have the case in for this phone. You have mm-hmm. the case in. It was a new model. They did not have mm-hmm. next day uh-huh. onwards the uh, Facebook mm-hmm. and all that. You have the stuff linked to Google, yeah. you know, start sending me the covers for the phone covers for that particular model. There you go. There was another case when I it was a new model of the car that I, mm. a friend of mine took for a ride, mm. talking about that mm. and then, but the most mm. scary thing, okay, scary thing happened mm. until now. I don't know how to explain that, okay. I met a person. First time in my life, uh-huh. and uh, we, it was at the dinner. Okay. Okay, and we were sitting next to each other. Okay. And uh, the person had uh, uh, a name that uh, that person thought that is quite unusual for that person, and uh, immediately after the person introduced her, uh, it was herself, you know. Yeah. So she started explaining the whole story, and. Uh, the surname and the name was repeated many, many, many times in that story. And it was really fascinating. <laughs> okay. It's something that you don't hear no, not at all. often, okay? Yeah. And uh, not that that particular the life story, you know, very fascinating of that person. You know, and then uh, uh, after the dinner, you know, I went back to the hotel and I was okay, I, I gotta check that, you know. So I opened Facebook mm-hmm. and I typed the name and there are millions of people with that name. Definitely. Oh. 
the f- f- not the full name, to just the given name ah. without the surname. Okay. And the surname, the full name comes as a first suggestion. Wow. And you just talked about it. Nothing was keyed in. No. So scary. Comes wow. that particular person as a Who's first passed? suggestion. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it was Ooh. it was just impossible because mm-hmm. otherwise the name itself mm-hmm. it, it just so on. I mean, nothing special. Yeah. There are millions of people with that name. Yeah. But just for that particular person to have such a name, it's like wow. it's like what my friend told me a story. Okay. That <laughs> uh, years ago, uh-huh. and he was a doctor. Okay. And he is a doctor. Still is. Okay. Yeah, he's my friend, the doctor. We used to work together and all. Okay. And uh, he was telling me from his very early days of his practice, he's sitting in the clinic and uh, the nurse is giving him the file of the next patient for the follow up and he looks at it and the name is Jack Daniels. Oh no. <laughs> and he's like, For real? Wow, for real. You know, yeah. who's going to come? Yeah. And he sees a. Uh, uh, a Malaysian Indian guy comes in. Well, you know, he barely speaks uh, English, you know. And he's, uh, <laughs> he's like, So you're a Jack. How did you get this name? And he said, My father was such a big fan of Jack Daniels. And he gave him name. Well, I think Jack Daniels is better than naming your child Corona or is COVID. That Oh yeah, in Indonesia. In yeah, in Indonesia, oh, it's yeah. a huge Why thing. Want to do that? Yeah, so you have like Corona, you know, like you break it into three sounds, or COVID, like you know, which is C O V E I D. Like your child is going to be walking around with this for life, and people are going to be like, "Also, oh, that's your name." You know, I think the parents are going to be cool, but it's but after all, it's just a name, you know, it's just a thing. Yeah, but you know when people announce you on the PA system, you know in school you'll be you'll be bullied just by having that name. You know, They're like oh really? Come come, you know, meet my friend Corona. Or like so, you're yeah. waiting for the boarding in the airplane. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, and then you know, Mr. Coronavirus. Exactly. You know, please come to gate fifty two. <laughs> it would be really really awkward, but yeah. So. Back to back to what we were saying. So back to the boxes, right? So yeah. I remember you So you, you need to have the idea, you need to have the direction, you need mm-hmm. to have the plan, and you need to understand what you're doing, right? Correct. And and so then you and can then, assemble it. Yes, and that, that's why we assemble it. And and of course it's definitely not the five, there's no such thing that it mm-hmm. has to be only like five, you know. It could be fifteen. It could be fifteen or could be it depends on the person, right? Correct. Uh, but generally uh, these things and we just group them in a five because we it's easier to remember. Easier to remember. Yeah. And we want to save time. Yeah. Because if we're gonna do the top six, top seven, it would have been even longer. Or top ten. Or top ten <laughs> super long. So we decided yeah. just five, five, five. Yeah. And five times five gives you twenty five. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. And people love it. Yeah, no, because at the end of the day, I think I was reading somewhere where they mentioned that the human mind can only yeah. retain so much chunks of information. So anything more than that, it just slips through, you know. And I think they say that in previously it was five items. Now it's gone down to three. <laughs> it's like you know, yeah. if I ask you to go to the supermarket, right, and buy me something, and I rattle on my Nobody's list. Nobody's watching top ten. No, you get it. Your brain just goes, okay. So what did you want? You wanted milk. You wanted veggie. You wanted fish. Oh, what were the other two items? Like the top ten is so nineties, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very, very nineties. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. during the nineteen eighties, uh, it was still the top fifty. Yeah. Because you had plenty of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was no mobile phones, there mm-hmm. were hardly there were any computers and mm-hmm. basically you don't have anywhere to go, right? Correct. You go outside, mm-hmm. the life in the 80s, <laughs> those who remember that, it was, I mean it was cool, it was wonderful and beautiful. Life was and simple. All, simple <laughs> and it wasn't that safe as life is safe now. Mm-hmm. In spite of what anyone can say or mm-hmm. might say or mm-hmm. whatever. So but back then was safer. No, now it's safe. Now it's safe. Definitely. Because, now it's the same because you start. do something, people catch your image, they run you through the system on social media. No, <laughs> it's, it's always getting up. better. It's always <laughs> getting better. No matter what is happening. You see, uh, the okay. uh, development and evolution mm-hmm. of our civilization goes in uh, mm-hmm. not in the best or ideal way. You know, we're okay. doing uh, a lot of uh, un- unreasonable stuff, a lot of mistakes, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of harmful to each other and mm. to ourselves and, and to the mm. to, to your neighbor, brother, whoever. Mm. Mm. But overall, still, it, it's like it's a slow, a spiral shape, but it's improved. We are moving forward. 
mm. we are moving forward. I'm absolutely sure about that. Okay, so and we're evolving. In, 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 uh, yeah, even in terms of the health management, yeah, it's yeah. never been as great as it has been today. And, and mm. today is definitely better than it was in 2020. Yeah, and interesting enough, you know, someone did mention this point when they said, okay, well, you know, medical technology and, uh, and everything else has improved, healthcare and such. But also a lot of new diseases have started to come up as well because of, you know, exposure to maybe, you know, constantly being bombarded by rays, you know, from everything, from our devices, which we didn't have, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Like, handphones now, literally everyone's holding it, you know. Don't blame everything on the hands phone. Go and fix your diet, okay? Go and <laughs> clean your fridge. <laughs> then go and clear up your mind a bit. Okay. Uh, then uh, throw away the television. Right. I don't use one. <laughs> TV, TV companies don't 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 sue me. Okay. <laughs> At least, or if you okay, if you invest in a TV set, mm. buy it, place it in a nice place, but don't use it. Don't use it. Then what's the point of having a TV? An ornament as a decoration. Okay. <laughs> and now the TVs are so cool, and you can play other stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, you can play some music uh, on mm -hmm. that, you know, some concert, and you can put a nice uh, stereo surround know. sound. Yeah, of course, you know, just, yeah, but don't, don't, don't consume, you know, okay. most importantly, I don't still consume use, actually. trash, and yeah. the trash comes, the pollution comes in many, many ways. First of all, it's the food, okay. drinks, yeah. and all that, it's, it's bad, okay. not saying don't be, uh, have a holy life, you know, lead a holy life and don't do anything, just pray, meditate, meditate, meditate be in nirvana, and then do <laughs> I, I don't know what, what is that have fallen from heaven, you know, from the skies, you know, some whatever, you know, just okay. No, no, not like that. Yeah, okay. not like that. But don't abuse. Okay, so that's a take off. Don't yeah, abuse don't abuse. Uh, it's all right to be a user. It's not cool to be a user. Mm. And when when the bubble Machas called me for the mm -hmm. podcast and we we're talking yes, about yes, anabolic yes. steroids and all we're yeah. talking about the same stuff. I said, I mean come on. Me by me saying don't use steroids, like people gonna not gonna use steroids for real. No, they're gonna use it anyway. Yeah, of course they're gonna yeah. like, ah this fella says don't use steroids. Yeah. Like don't smoke? People don't don't smoke. watch. Don't watch this guy. Yeah? yeah, just flip flip the page. Uh, next one, scroll up, scroll yeah. up, scroll up. It's gonna be like that, right? Mm -hmm. So um, let's not be hypocrites. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but if you think that you can, it, it's totally fine to benefit from something, mm. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's totally fine to benefit from something, whatever it is, as long as you don't harm Other anyone people. else. Yeah. yeah. If it's you don't body. cross that the perimeter of your personal space. Mm -hmm. All right, you're free to do whatever you want to do. Correct. Okay. Preferably, if the practices that you do do not damage you irreversibly and mm -hmm. do not deeply harm you. What examples would that be? Well, uh, talking about the topic of today, yeah. bringing up the topic of today, abuse of substances. Okay. And uh, frankly speaking, you know, when when I was uh, creating the top for performance, mm -hmm. if you look at the top for performance, mm -hmm. you definitely will not see any banned substance no. or any controversial substance or any substance which is banned by World Anti-Doping Agency, Correct. for instance, right? Correct. Because I wanted to make mm -hmm. this list as much inclusive as possible and mm -hmm. as much universal as possible. Mm -hmm. That's why I put uh, mm -hmm. Well, I put the creatine there, yeah. I zinc, put the copper, zinc, copper, CO2, co coenzyme Q10, yeah. omega 3, uh, and omega 3. And then another one as well, the uh, L arginine? L arginine and L citrulline. Yeah. yeah. So these are compounds which are available all over the world mm -hmm. uh, without any limitation. Although mm -hmm. I was hearing that because the creatine is so provenly beneficial mm. that uh, there are some thoughts or opinions mm. that it has to be regulated. Why? I have no idea. It's because OTC, no? I can walk into a you know GNC or any pharmacy and just buy it. Yeah. Oh. The next thing that we're going to regulate apples <sighs> and then gated uh, 
organizations or gated establishments oh, yeah. uh, will uh, regulate lemons, for instance. Yeah. Because they'll say, we need to check the vitamin C content. <laughs> Just make sure that the vitamin C content does not exceed limits which are stipulated in uh, Act so and so, or the guidelines okay. of this particular gated organization. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> You know, it gets more and more ridiculous, and I think more and more yeah, that's why I think as consumers, we need to you know be aware, you know, be more woke, if you may, like where you know you do your research, you don't take everything blindly, and you compare opinions because you might follow, let's say, a particular. Group. Oh yeah, first of all, don't trust anyone. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, first of all, don't trust governments. Yeah. Let's <laughs> not say that out loud. <laughs> opposite always think governments think yeah. that. Uh huh. Most likely, it's, it's the opposite. opposite. It's the opposite. <laughs> keep the fellas in check. You know, wherever, whichever country you are, yeah, keeps the guy. Keep the guys in check all the time. You know, because high chances that they might not be a hundred percent genuine, and that is okay because they're politicians. Correct. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> and now, what, what I was trying to say that if. Ask me absolutely genuinely, like what is the best performance enhancers yeah. would be? The list would have been different. Yeah, because okay, the would list have would have been other stuff that because you know. I would have go specifically, and, and again I would have talked specifically about compounds, right? Mm, like your own compound thing. No, not the one compound. I will talk about the molecule because I'm, I see here I'm talking about the molecule, specifically right. zinc, you know, which is uh, one of the minerals of the coenzyme Q10. It's a molecule, mm. right? But other enhanced performance enhancers which are better than these mm -hmm. uh, molecules? Well, yeah, of, of course, the testosterone molecule is the best performance enhancer. Everyone knows it. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, is it? Does it have limitations? That's the trick here. It comes mm. the limitations come. So in this particular list, mm. um, not much limitations. Mm. Whether you're old or young. Mm -hmm. Male, female, any age. What what what's your status uh, uh, and uh, physiological or pathological condition or something? Generally, it is safe. Is it good? Mm -hmm. And even if you are not really an athlete, if you are not involved in a physical activity, mm -hmm. and would that be a good idea to take it? Yes, of course, and that's why I was given the medical things, the medical benefits, even for the creatine, you know, like for the ASD, mm -hmm. you know, the global development delay mm -hmm. and, and so on and so forth, you know, because it improves the cognitive function mm -hmm. and then creatine with caffeine, mm -hmm. it's treatment for insomnia, mm -hmm. you know, and if uh, there's another thing, there's a lot of, uh, a, bit, a bit of topic, uh, we deviated from the topic, but mm -hmm. uh, again, a lot of times compounds uh, have other benefits uh, in uh, medicine or pharmacology, they call it like off-label use. Mm -hmm. For instance, there are PD5 inhibitors like the Viagra. You know, mm -hmm. It's it's a wonderful thing for the jet lag. Oh, yeah. Okay, I yeah. didn't know that. <laughs> I thought you just do it when you had like the well, issues. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's okay. one of the remedies for the jet lag. I mean, it was research, you know. Okay. By the way, and. Mm -hmm. Another example is uh, the use of Cialis, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, the Cialis is used not only for uh, to improve the erectile function, mm -hmm. but also to uh, improve the urination, you know, the, the mm -hmm. uh, prostate uh, health. Okay. So not to say health, but the symptoms. Okay. okay. Yeah, Does it reduce prostate cancer in mm -hmm. men? Then, if you no, it's, it's, it's not about that. It's okay. about just easier to do.